This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I'm about to do something no Disney vacationer has ever done before. Can I live on the land pavilion here at Epcot for an entire day? Can this iconic greenhouse sustain me with its crunchy and fleshy vegetables? Can it sweep me up into its fertile cornucopia of prairie dogs and NFTs? Today, I'm pushing this pavilion to its limits to see just how sustainable life on the land really is. How are you feeling, confident? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling a little hot. I'm feeling a little overdressed. You might be asking yourself, Dan, why are you dressed fully like a Pennsylvania farmer? at Epcot on a day where it's expected to hit well into the 90s? That's a great question. That's because I'm spending the entire day in this pavilion. Last year, I rode the People Mover 50 times to celebrate Disney World's 50th anniversary. And this year, I decided to tackle something bigger, something greater, something grander. Not just a ride, but a pavilion. And so here I am, where I shall reside for the next 12 hours and gather together my community of theme park friends, where we shall feast in its beautiful, rich cornucopia of wealth and history. And the first thing we have to do, and the thing we're gonna be doing pretty much all day, more or less, except for some random fun adventures, which will come later, is to get ourselves on this boat ride. Kenny, let's go! Ooh, row six for our first ride. Remain seated with your hands, arms, feet. All right, first ride of the day. Alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive the beat of all the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. We can make farmland more than control the ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. Welcome to our living laboratory where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative We don't think of fish, but fish farming, or aquaculture, accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. Like we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. It's like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way. Fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean. This is a really great ride. We should ride it again. All right, so how are you feeling so far? Great, I love Epcot, I love the Land Pavilion, I love this ride, it is the best. It's the best way to spend 14 minutes of your morning, your afternoon, your evening. Now that we've ridden it once, let's get back on there and re-ride it a couple of times, try to find some Easter eggs and some hidden Mickeys. All right, ride number two. Beneath the surface of the land. That's a hidden Mickey, right there, I found one. The rocks, Dan, look. Make use of what little water they can find and a flow to the American There's got to be a hidden Mickey somewhere in this house. What's your favorite bug? None. Oh, it looks like this is right for a hidden Mickey and like the little divots of the rock. Hidden Mickey. Well, look, it's the first hidden Mickey that isn't hidden at all. It's just an obvious Mickey. A hidden hosey. A hosey Mickey. Didn't they have, used to have like little alligators in here? Do you remember that? No. Yeah, they used to have like little alligators in here. It's one of these shrimp things. Look, here's a Mickey right there. There's a hidden Mickey. There's a hidden Mickey. That's, that's kind of a hidden Mickey. Oh, hidden Minnie right there. She's got a little bow on. There's another one over here. Uh, Did you get them all? Did you get all the hidden Mickey? The hidden Minnie is such a weird one to get a good angle on. 
I love those pillows. You yourself can own an image of this NFT hidden Mickey that will get you nothing and benefit you in no way. Extremely hot peppers. That'll give you a hidden Mickey on the toilet. It increases production. The aquaponics My God, what have they done? In our lab, it's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab. Another hidden Mickey in the lab. Those vials in there hold the DNA of Walt Disney. So there's a couple of the hidden Mickeys and other Easter eggs that we could find. We definitely missed a couple. So comment below letting us know which ones we missed and where in the ride they are. I think we should ride it again. You wanna ride it again? Let's go. It's our third ride. And the Land Pavilion is not just living on the land and soaring, it's so much more, including a wonderful eating opportunity. It's time to maybe get a little breakfast or at least see what they've got. Just do a little mini vlog of myself. <laughs> we just here, of course, dressed like one of the finale characters of the ride, but now, but she's also French bait for the France Pavilion. She could just walk into stores and just pick up stuff and leave and no one would stop her. <laughs> oh, what are you getting there? I'm getting a power salad. Now, can you confirm, Kyle, if any of these are I do these fresh fleshy vegetables are from the land they are. pavilion. They are? Should be. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm 99% sure. I'll, I'll leave room for error so that way you can At least it for one nothing. of these leaves is yeah. from the greenhouse. Theme park sustainability. And, and, and one, one. They're, they're worth getting out of the boat for. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy. Now, do we need a white claw for the road? <laughs> a little salad Tomatoes. there? Tomatoes for the tomato girl. Alicia, do you believe we're living in the future promise? of living on the land? We're living with the land, but we are not living in the future. We are currently living in the present. <laughs> Wait, what, were, what was the question? <laughs> I swear I was just on a beach vacation and I saw people growing plants above the ground, like in things with the roots sticking out. And I was like, that's like the thing. So Whoa. we are kind of living in the future in that respect. However, I saw on Wikipedia, the source of all knowledge. One of the greenhouses was actually a desert biome when this first opened. And they were like showing it, look, we one day we'll grow plants in the desert. In the desert, and in the sand, and, yeah. And then when that didn't happen, they replaced it. So no, we are not living in the future. They've, yeah. they've, they've erased history. Right, it's like when the when the park opened, they did the that, and then they did the horizons with like the oranges growing in the desert and stuff. Right. And I noticed those two things are missing from Epcot now. Right. Like quietly erasing what mistakes they've made. Yeah, about. where are <laughs> our desert oranges? Where's our desert orange? Alicia has pointed out that her interview has been conducted in the wintry winter oh, season. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you look here, Kenny, we're eating in winter. It's right the sunshine now. seasons. Yeah. And the, we're seated in the winter in the season. Win we're eating in the winter seasons. Right. Do you know what the C stands for in Epcot? Community. Welcome to my theme park friends. <laughs> I'm friends with Tomato Girl and Blueberry Boy. <laughs> Y'all talked about uh, sponsors of this sponsors ride of the, of the whole pavilion. Craft, Craft was the first. Yeah. yeah, and what came after Craft? Nestle. Nestle. Welcome to our third I think it was the Smuckers sponsored the cafe, oh. and Welcome Smuckers is being now and into the <laughs> Here's where I take issue with the food that's grown here is served all around restaurants in Walt Disney World. Yeah, they got like six shrimp. Like there's yeah. one in each thing. Or okay, here's here's the thing: thirty-two thousand tomatoes in sixteen months from that one tree. So maybe there is enough for all of them. There are two more greenhouses behind us. If you look at Google Maps, hold Google Maps and look. I'm show the camera. I'll do all your research work for you. Sure. Three. 
It's midday here at the land, and it's time to learn how everything works here. What's going on behind the scenes? Behind the scenes. And to join us on this epic adventure is none other than the king of Theme Park Operations YouTube, Robert Plays. Hey, Dan, how's it going? Well, you're messing up with Mr. Beast Head. Sorry, I'm sorry. How often do you do the behind the scenes tour? <laughs> This was an accident. I'm here every Monday. Seriously, how, have you done it before? Seriously, no. Okay. <laughs> Unseriously, every week I'm here. I love it. So we're gonna be going back through this hall. I am so ready to learn about the land, how to live with it, how we're not living with it. I think for many years, I assumed if there was one place to hold up during an apocalypse, it would be here. And now I wanna know how true that is. Taste. It's good. The most cucumber I've ever cucumbered. Yeah. Were there ever alligators in this tank? There were, yes. Knew it. <laughs> oh my god, look at that! Who do? So when you guys come to the end of Oh my god! Ew! I feel stuck with it. It was a great tour. It was great. I can't believe how robust the land is. Yeah, and the tour had a good balance of talking about just the different methods that they use to grow plants, but then also talking about how it actually interacts with the parks, talking about the restaurants. We learned where you can go eat food from the land and yes. just getting those little stories yes. about how apparently a chef wanted the Carolina Reapers, so they just picked yeah. a few Carolina Reapers. I think Reapers. it's cool, it's like, oh yeah, we grow what we want agriculturally as a group, and then like we put out to the to the world, hey chefs, this is what's coming in season, here's what we have. Yeah. It's, the, the tour felt like, like living with the land, the ride, but with the director's commentary on. Yeah, yeah, and it was cool that we got to see all the different areas. Yeah, uh, and I, our tour guide was amazing. I particularly liked getting the story about how during the COVID shutdown, they fed uh, bok choy to the manatees, who then did Refused not want to go back to lettuce <laughs> after it was over, which I think is something we can all relate. Bougie bok choy manatees. We could relate to it that every is a, again. Someone needs to make that a shirt, bougie bok choy manatees. <laughs> Fun fact about the land is that the two tile murals that go up the entrance ramp are clones of one another from both sides, except for one tile. It's this green tile. If you go to the other side here, it's just gonna be gold like the rest of them. Is that for real? Yeah, man, go over there and look. <laughs> and boom, all gold. Who told you this? A wise man once. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> We told you, do you? I will remember soon. Jess told me. Okay. Our, our amazing graphic designer told me. So Dan, are you seeing the seasons up there 
on the balloons, right? Of course, the land has four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and fall. It's the sunshine seasons. We're eating in the winter seasons. Right. Did you fellas know that? Did you know about the seasons at Seasons? I know when you told me about five minutes ago. It's good storytelling. Yeah, that's good storytelling, right, Kenny? Yeah. You did. went to film school. Yeah. I learned all of my storytelling techniques from grown-ups, too. <laughs> that's the third floor. I've been up there before. It's a really weird clown room up there. Kenny's face. With like paintings of Buzzy. Yes. And other like. Yes. But it's all like clown themed. I want to go up there. And there's like circus tents and other kind of nonsense. Yes. I need to go up there. Rob, I'm it'll, up. it'll be the last thing you do at Disney World. I'm going to get up there without breaking the rules. Okay. Oh, you're going to get invited up there. I'm going to get So this line has gotten a lot longer. Everyone heard that Dan and Kenny were riding Living With The Land as many times as possible today, and they go, Kenny's gonna be there? No way, we have to go. We have to go meet Kenny from Please Stop Vlogging. <laughs> Everyone, who's your favorite Disney farmer? Luke Skywalker. The parents from Zootopia? I think there's a guy in Brave Little Toaster that is a farmer. Living with the land, corn kid and his mother. You can't walk in the sand. Because your feet have fungus on them that'll kill the plants. This bush is a black pepper. It's the pepper Mickey. And you can only see that it's a hidden Mickey by looking back at it once we've passed it. Oh my god, that thing out there was so heavy. I couldn't believe it. It weighed as much as a toddler. I don't lift toddlers very often. And the bass saw us coming and gathered at the wall. And the reason they know that is because they've been trained like, like this, you can't tell me fish don't have memory because they know for every hour on the hour, seven days a week, they're gonna get, they're gonna, kids are gonna feed them as part of the tour. And they see the, they see the tour groups coming and they gather and they follow us as we walk by. Well, I'll give you three, hibachi, appetizer. Of course, there are no like official blueprints out there. So you don't know for sure if you, Consider that the ride's about 15 minutes long. That means approximately you are traveling one nautical mile an hour, which is one knot. We are moving about one knot right now. So if you ever wanted to know how fast the boat is moving, it's approximately one. One, we're going one. We're going one. Yes. Potato grandma's my favorite. I'm a potato grandma. We're getting a whole boat next. Nate was excited about what was on the, the pillows? They had living with the land. They had the land like emblem on the, the pillows. Yeah, Nate has, Nate has told everyone how much of a fan of pillows he is. And now we're talking about purple pillows. <laughs> purple, not necessarily the color of the pillow, but the brand of pillow. Brand, yes, it's important, brand. We are going to eat from the land while living with, with the, the land. land. Right. While technically being on the ride, because the restaurant's spinning. Yeah, you're, you're still on, on the ride. You're in it. You also mentioned there's a creepy pasta. Oh yeah, inside the house there. Like, what is they, a creepy pasta for the kids at home who don't know? There was like this little thing. I think it was on like Reddit and stuff like that. It was about uh, like the the house itself and how they used to like like kidnap children and put them in there. It's a children's kidnapping creepy pasta. I think so. That's what. It is. I don't know what they call it though. I just call it a creepy pasta. Yeah, you could see you could see like a bed in there, and like it's a little dim. That's what lit. it was. Some eleven-year-old just bored at the Garden Grill Good. could saw saw inside a bedroom at the, <laughs> at the land. It's like I'm gonna go on Reddit.
All right, so there's a closet in there, and there is someone standing in the closet. There's You're joking. Someone standing in the closet over there. I yeah. swear to God, Rob. Is it the there's something, there's someone in there. What are you talking about? Kenny. <laughs> are Kenny. You I got you guys good. And seed. There he is. Oh, yes. He wants me to get like a little selfie mode with it. I'm the one person who shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Have you done the behind the seeds tour? We just did it earlier today. You? Yeah, you're. you're He's you're the behind the, the scenes. scenes. Was Chip digging graves? You think? He's digging. He might have been. <laughs> it's Dale. It's, it's Dale. nice to see you. We're excited for the harvest feast. I heard there's there's three berries in the dessert. You made the dessert, or you just saw them make the dessert? <laughs> Are you looking at that open window to sneak in? There might be stuff in there to nibble on. Oh no! about you. I'm not talking about you at all. Uh, no, you didn't hear any. No, 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 no. Your ears are not burning. How do you feel about that barking dog? Oh, oh we knew it. Yeah, we, we knew, knew it. it. We knew you'd yeah, have some territorial issues. And he just won't shut up either. He just barks. Barks and barks. All day long. Wow. It looks like the meats have arrived. Oh, oh my lord. lord. Look at this bountiful harvest. All of it? All of it. Green beans, the corn, the salad, all the produce is grown right downstairs. Do you think these green beans came from the land? No. 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 Okay. They were if anything, it's just literally that salad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the hard truth from Nate. There's a hidden Mickey behind that plant. So you grew these fine fruits and vegetables? It's out, yep. Macaroni mac and, and cheese. cheese. Mac Mickey and cheese for Mickey. Mac. Mickey That's mac and cheese. cheese. Mickey mac and cheese. He's a mouse. He's a mouse. He likes cheese. <laughs> oh, he's, he's a cheese. mouse. He <laughs> likes cheese. <laughs> this guy. Oh, this guy. guy. This makes so this much guy. sense. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Welcome to the game. <laughs> Yes, thank you, thank you. Bring it in, bring it in. Oh. Look who just joined us. None other than the iconic Epcot historian himself, Jack from Park Ride History. I'm here to help. The entourage keeps growing, baby. And now it's time for Awesome Planet. What was the first movie here? I think the first one was Symbiosis, and that was like about seeds and things are growing. This is one of my favorite uh, walls in Epcot for top some reason. Wall. Kenny's top, top five wall. Epcot walls. Well, they keep knocking them out, so. That one was there before. I hope you're excited to take a tour of one truly awesome home, but before the show begins, I do. Next, it's just the right distance from the sun. This planet, our home, is in peril. Um, are they going to talk about why <laughs> and who's causing all this uh, trouble you, on the planet? You are. Extreme climate. Who started it? Question mark. All right, Jack. Yes. We're in the land pavilion and you're the, hi you're the history of Epcot master. Yes. Talk to me about what the land pavilion was when it first opened versus what we have now. In the middle right there, there used to be that big fountain. There, there was, was like, a fountain. Yeah, it was like a fountain, but it was kind of like a dome almost that water came out of. Fun fact about that, the guy who made it, they're like, you can't put your name on it or do anything. Any Easter eggs? He put his name on there. He anyway. still put his name on it? So <laughs> savage. When did like, we get Soren and lose Kitchen Cabaret? Because Kitchen Cabaret was original. 
and then there was Food Rocks. Food Rocks. Food Rocks, and I think that went until like early to mid 2000s. Gotcha. And then it became somewhere in after, you know. So we, we sacrificed a lot of animatronic food for a Patrick Warburton vehicle. Mm -hmm. But you know what, we're better off for it. The reason why it takes so long to ride Soren is you literally have to walk through a labyrinth yeah. to get to it. You like walk off property. If you look at Google Maps, it's like this long hallway that takes you off to this like annex uh -huh. building. Uh -huh. yeah, and then well, they built is, a third theater recently. This is the, the biggest pavilion here and it always has been, but they just keep adding stuff to it. Like I forget what it is, I think it's like a, a hectoliter or whatever. If you look on the Wikipedia, it's like a oh, crazy really? measurement. This is the largest pavilion? Oh yeah. Rob. Dan. A pleasure to have you with me. It's been a day. It's been a great day though, because this place is alive, Dan. It is like, alive. If you compare what this place was like when I got here close to noon, it was, there were people everywhere and it was crowded and yeah. packed and now it's relaxed a little bit. You know, it's just like any other natural cycle we're going it's through. It's the circle of life. Yes. And it's happening right here in the land. I found that like five or six trips around on this was... All you needed? That's yeah, more than what I needed. I think. You, you sailed many miles today, nautical miles. We sailed almost three nautical miles today. That's out of control. At a rate of one. one. <laughs> Good luck. Like Good the, luck the three of you. Like the band of brothers. Do me proud. <laughs> Play the Sad Hulk music now. The brightest mind amongst The Lou Ferrigno Sad Hulk music. <laughs> Bye. This ride used to have like people on, like yes. Jungle Cruise skippers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what what happened? What's the deal with that? Okay, I'm a little fuzzy on the years exactly, but I think in in '93 or around that same time. They had the people, they had the people until like 2007, I want to say. Really? Yeah, and then they would just be quiet. They're just sitting there awkwardly. For the just to make sure you don't touch the cucumbers. Well, well for the first half of the ride. So oh, the right. Ride they don't talk until the garden. You're just sitting with a guy. And like, it's not like movie ride where like a gangster jumps on the yeah. ride halfway through. They don't do that. That guy has to sit the whole time. Yeah. The attraction known today as Living with the Land opened with the rest of Epcot Center in 1982, and boy, from the very first day, everyone knew that this was going to be the flagship attraction. Not really. Many of these, like oh, look, a bread food bananas, fell. cacao, look, coffee and rice, a bread food well fell. Around the it's world. got left like a perfect divot. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. Here we go. It Here is. we no, go. I think the number is probably accurate, but there's not the most popular for like mangoes are the most popular because I had to look it up. Because oh. I'm not going to let Disney get away with a lie like that. So it's not bananas. They're definitely not. And I think, it, because it's just sponsored by Chiquita, so it's like a fake fact. And I bet they get away with it by like, because how do you how do you judge? Who's gonna, yeah, who's well, gonna what's the dispute? metric of a banana? A mango's a mango. <laughs> yeah, we know. I feel great. I feel cool. I feel air conditioned. You feel learned. I feel so educated. I learned more today than I've ever learned in any theme park attraction ever in my life. Yeah. One of the cast members just approached me and said they had a they had a surprise for us, and then just like so they're just like stay here and they left, and then they came back and like three people like yeah three. Oh, 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 yes. 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 All I ever wanted. Do you guys just have hats laying around? They're We should ride to get as captains of the day. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Ahoy. Sit back, relax, Captain Dan enjoy. here. To everyone who was mad about all my snarky yes, comments about this ride, oh, it's so boring. Have you ever been captain of the ride? <laughs> Woo! It's me! <laughs> yeah! yeah! <laughs> Thanks, guys! <laughs> what treasure did we just unlock? I haven't seen this on any TikTok. <laughs> it's completely different energy. Welcome to our living laboratory, 
where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals. This is a completely different energy at night. When the sun's down, it feels like a completely different ride is out of this world. Well, I feel like I shouldn't be on it right now. Yeah, it feels like it's wrong to be on it now. It feels like, it feels like we shouldn't see the plants in this state. This, though, is so cool at night. The vibe in here is immaculate. I've learned that farming fish is actually terrible for the environment. Yeah. Because if one fish gets loose, in a bad situation, it'll like destroy the ecosystem. Yeah. And yeah. It, Kevin told us. Uh -huh. Kevin was like, if you go on that ride, you better tell everybody that far fish farming's terrible. <laughs> it's dangerous. Oh my God, it's so eerie. eerie. It's spooky quiet now. You know what though? If we could have a glow bowling alley, why does this place turn to a glow greenhouse at the end of the night? That saves He's water. microwaving his lunch. Late night. The He's just staring at the microwave. The He's working the night shift. Combines show. hydroponics with aquaculture. Oh my gosh, you guys. Get some angles for y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Round the world and back again. That's the sailor's way. Now that we're captains of the land, there's only one thing left to do. And that is, of course, to take to the sky. It's time to soar, boys. Like angels. We were deemed captain of the day. Captain, so we're actually in charge. Oh, I've done it. I fully ascended. I don't think there's another thing the land could offer me that I haven't reaped from its bountiful lands. The bountiful lands and skies. See, and that's where the problem with the sword, the sword ride comes into. This place is called the land, all right? You and your sky people go somewhere else. <laughs> Now that you've just watched me land, it's your turn to land on my new Squarespace website, chucklekingdom.com, for fresh theme park apparel. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. Connect your audience and generate revenue through gated members-only content, manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all in one easy-to-use platform. Create a community on your Squarespace website with fully integrated commenting systems that support threaded comments, replies, and likes. Use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. Automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. Extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage your inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items across the globe. Man, we had so much fun with this video that it inspired our theme park artist, Jess Siswick, to dive in and make our very own land shirt. So maybe this shirt will be landing at your doorstep soon. I've said land a lot. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Disney Dan to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. We've conquered Epcot. We've conquered it. Now we've got two under our belts, Kenny. The Magic Kingdom we've conquered, Epcot we've conquered. What could possibly be next? What could stand in our way? We've sailed many nautical miles today. We've eaten- Three nautical miles. We've eaten the flesh of the, of the, of the fleshy vegetables that have grown from the land. We've taken to the skies. We've learned about our awesome planet. We've eaten at all of the seasons. This has truly been the most epic of days. 
So what's next? I don't know. What's next? What's next for your Disney vacation? What's next for my Disney vacation? We can't keep vacationing like this anymore. You have to do great, big, beautiful things with your community, with your friends. Meet new people, make cast members laugh, have a great time. Make memories that no one else has yet. Make your memories. All right. Now I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Now Kenny and I are going to go into our hibernation pods and we will see you sometime in June. <laughs>